I remember him having really long arms and being really fast. Um, but no, that was that, that was a that was a fun game getting to go against him. You know, because I remember it being my sophomore season. You know, getting to go against you know a premier edge rusher like that. I was like, oh, you know, this is gonna be this is a big game. You know, it's a big game for me. Um, but yeah, it was it was awesome. He's a great he's a great edge rusher. Yeah, like I said, he's super long, super fast, so he uses that to his advantage. Um, but yeah, that was that was a good game. And then, ooh, that's a good one. I think um, so. Watching him in college, he seemed like um, he used hands a lot more. Um, like he's, I don't want to say like faster, but because um, I mean I know he's still still pretty fast. But I think he's transitioned to a little bit more of a power rusher now. Um, but that's been the biggest thing, you know. I remember like his first step still looks the same, um, which was kind of I don't know. It's kind of weird, you know, when I first watched it on film. Um, but he's got he's got good get off. But I think I think now he uses that length um, a little bit more. I think just how just how athletic he is. Um, you know, I think that they got they got like a good one-two punch with. Um, with Chase and Montez Sweat, you know, Montez Sweat, he's a, he's more of a power rusher than Chase does, you know, he throws a lot of moves at you, um, tries to bend that edge. Um, I think that's another big thing too, when he's coming around that, you know, if you, if you, if you bubble him and he's coming around the edge, you know, he can, he can dip down low and, and he does a good job keeping his toes pointed at the quarterback. Um, but yeah, you know, they're both, they're both really good rushers. Um, so it's going to be, going to be fun. As Tristan said in the intro, Montez Sweat does have long arms and he uses power moves. He's not a real nimble, agile kind of guy. He just has a lot of speed, but doesn't use his speed with his athletic ability. As you see here, he's using all his force to push and has his feet spread apart, not getting much leverage against a heavier defend, uh, offensive lineman. And Wirfs wins that battle. As you see here, well, this kind of looks like something the Buccaneers run on offense. Wirfs and Montez lined up again. Let's see what Montez does at the point of attack. Gets his quick step off and then look. Knees are bending backwards. Wirfs has full control. Montez Sweat can't get any leverage on Wirfs and it's a touchdown. Let's move over to the pros, shall we? Montez does what Montez does. Gets a quick step off at the point of attack. He's on one foot, arms fully extended, trying to push. Offensive lineman already has his base set. And Montez can't get any leverage to get the Hurts. This next matchup here, Montez uses his other move. Gets one arm out, leaves the outside arm free to get the offensive lineman off balance so he can get back inside to sack Hurts. This part, the offensive lineman's feet aren't good because he's trying to catch up with Montez Sweat. Sweat gets him off balance, is able to come back inside and get his long, lengthy arms around Hurts for a sack. So what I notice a lot when Montez is on the field a lot, sticking your arms out and pushing every down gets tiresome. So he, pits, he can't get much leverage doing that, puts it on both chest plates of the offensive lineman, tries to drive him back with a leg drive. Offensive lineman holds his ground and Hurt is able to deliver the ball and complete a pass. 